We begin with the latest on the coronavirus outbreak. In the past 24 hours, the total number of cases in the tri-state area has increased by double digits. Today, Governor Cuomo declared a state of emergency to help quickly and effectively contain the spread of the virus. There are now 89 cases across New York, more than double from last night's 44. That number includes 11 cases in New York City, 70 cases are in Westchester County, four in Nassau County, and two in Rockland County. Now in New York, where the governor has declared a state of emergency, with now at least 89 coronavirus cases, a 50% jump overnight. The governor with strong words for the CDC. And tonight we're learning one of those infected in New York is an Uber driver. This is some professional sports teams are assessing how they move forward when it comes to fan participation. Here's ABC Stephanie Ramos. Tonight, a state of emergency declared in New York as the coronavirus spreads across the country. The number of confirmed cases soaring to at least 89 statewide. 11 in New York City, including an Uber driver, a man in his 30s hospitalized in Queens. Plus, 23 new cases confirmed in a suburb outside New York City, about half of them linked to an attorney who frequently traveled through Grand Central Terminal. The governor blasting the federal government, claiming the state isn't getting enough money to fight the virus and there aren't enough tests. The CDC was caught flat-footed. I believe they're slow in their response and I believe they're slowing down the state. This as Florida reports the first two deaths on the East Coast, a man and a woman, both victims in their 70s with recent overseas travel. One of them from the district Congressman Matt Gates represents, who earlier this week wore a gas mask on the House floor. Tonight, Gates releasing a statement expressing sadness about the death, urging people to take the necessary precautions to minimize your exposure. People seen taking extra precaution. New video shows a Costco worker in Tampa wiping down shopping cart handles as customers enter the store. I like the handle for you real quick. Nationwide, at least 29 states have COVID-19 infections, with new cases in California, Oregon, and the first case of community spread in Nebraska. The NBA tonight telling teams to plan for the possibility of playing games without fans. Superstar LeBron James responding. If I show up to an arena and ain't no fans in there, I ain't playing. And now the NHL closing all locker rooms to the media over fears of the virus. The growing virus crisis overseas, a hotel in southeastern China collapsing, used as a quarantine location for people who had contact with coronavirus patients, at least 70 people trapped. Here's ABC's Jennifer Eccleston. Tonight, rescue teams in China scrambling to free 70 people trapped inside a hotel used as a coronavirus quarantine center after the structure suddenly collapsed. The five-story building in Guangzhou flattened. Hundreds of emergency workers searching the wreckage for the missing. Officials say dozens already pulled to safety. Officials now investigating the cause. Also tonight, the escalating contagion and more American tourists trapped by the virus. Officials spraying a hotel in Bethlehem where 14 Americans are under quarantine. More U.S. tourists in lockdown on a cruise ship on the Nile River in Egypt. Authorities there saying 45 people tested positive for COVID-19. And more measures to contain community spread in Italy. Now with over 4,600 cases, Europe's deadliest hotspot. The Vatican moving the Pope's Sunday Angelus prayer and his Wednesday audience inside and off limits to the public. Only available to the faithful by... As fears are sparked across the globe, there are ways to minimize your risk from contracting the deadly coronavirus. The outbreak comes at a crazy time for travel. Hundreds of millions of travelers are crisscrossing the world to celebrate the Chinese Lunar New Year. President Trump, speaking at the World Economic Forum in Switzerland, downplayed concerns for the USA today. We have it totally under control. It's one person coming in from China, and we have it under control. It's uh, going to be just fine. It's no secret that airplanes are breeding grounds for germs. So if you're planning on traveling by air, there are steps you can take to help keep you from getting sick. We spoke to Dr. Michael Daigneault at Air Hollywood Studios. His first tip, wear a face mask. 
Just wear it throughout the flight. It, um, it's actually quite comfortable. Also, wash your hands often with soap and warm water. Always wipe down your tray table and armrest with a sanitary wipe. It takes a minimal amount of effort. These are things that you can carry with you on the plane. Dr. Danio also recommends choosing a window seat. Being a little bit more away from um, other passengers who may potentially be sick. Lastly, keep your air vent open. That pressure actually pushes down the heavier virus particles and so it gives you that extra layer of protection. Tips that can help you stay healthy during a global health scare. Global News has learned a passenger on board a WestJet flight originating from Vancouver that landed at Winnipeg's airport was taken to hospital with a possible case of COVID-19. A middle-aged woman exhibited symptoms that have led to primary screening for the virus. Now you can see in these photos submitted to Global News by one of the passengers, paramedics in masks and protective clothing on the flight, and a flight attendant on the WestJet plane also informed passengers of the situation. We did have a guest who wasn't feeling well. Out of an abundance of caution due to the current climate, the current situation, the current things that are happening, we wanted to make sure that we covered our steps and that we contacted the public local health authority. Here's Marty Blunt now with reaction from those on the flight. 100 experts from the CDC are descending on JFK, Los Angeles and San Francisco airports this weekend. They are taking the temperatures of passengers arriving from Wuhan, China, hoping to prevent coronavirus, a new mysterious respiratory virus from spreading to the United States. Huh? Come on, We are told we're in quarantine due to an Italian doctor testing for the coronavirus. The hotel seems to be acting normally, except that we cannot go out either front or back. There are police cars stationed at all entrances. We've had breakfast normally. Uh, we were originally told to go back to our rooms after breakfast, but we haven't done so, and everybody else seems to be talking around in reception as normal. When we've looked outside over the balcony, we can just see a lot, a lot of um, police all, all wearing masks and they're basically there to prevent people from leaving or entering the hotel.